Hi folks, the Weird Bus Trailers. Uh, welcome back. If you watched the exterior video, this is the interior video of the 343 VIK Venture RV Sport Track Touring Edition. Beautiful trailer, uh, lots of features. The inside is incredible. So let's not waste any time and go around. So this is a rear living room, uh, central kitchen with a kitchen island. If you uh, take a look, you can see there's lots of room here. Opposite slides makes it so much wider. Uh, it's actually bigger than my first apartment. So uh, let's start at the back. Actually, there's a big, large windows uh, that point out towards the back of the trailer. All of the windows have pleated shades. There's two windows on the side as well. They're both open. Actually, every window opens on this trailer. This is a three-fold sleeper sofa. The most comfortable sofa there is in the RV industry to sleep on. Uh, there's nice... A little side table, there's a power outlet on each side, there's lots of cabinet above as well, plenty of LED lights. Uh, to the right of it, there is our theater sitting. Uh, this is equipped with heat and massage. Uh, this little thing goes up if you want to. Cup holder and there's an extra USB outlet here and a power outlet for the laptop, you can close this up. Now this is facing the entertainment system. So we have a very large 50 inch TV. A fireplace there's no frame on it frameless fireplace it does provide some heat that's pretty nice in fact this is one of the two fireplaces in this trailer lots of storage in the cabinet above um, the back of this actually cabinet here is the outside kitchen so but it doesn't go as tall as this so this is the whole depth of the slide out and it's pretty nice you can put tons of stuff in there and there's also a little blue lights inside it's pretty nice um, a little bit of storage on the side here, as well as on this side, and this is where you're going to find your radio. AM, FM, CD, DVD, Bluetooth, USB, auxiliary, HDMI. It does it all. It works well. We really like it. You don't need to buy another device to run the $3.99 movies from Walmart. It's all there and working, connected already. In front of it, we have our dinette uh, sitting for far. It is freestanding table and chair. Uh, when big windows... Uh, facing out and there's an, another one on the back of it that also open and oh no i may be lying to you this one's not opening oh yes this one does open as well my mistake under the chair you still get some storage pretty nice place uh put the cards and maybe a little uh um yeah little tools and stuff like that you can put that under the chairs Kitchen wise well that's going to be hard to beat uh there is lots of storage to start we have a full pantry with adjustable shelf, you can add or remove if you want. We have a 10 cubic foot fridge, pretty nice unit, very deep. The reason uh, this fridge is so deep is because it runs on 12 volts, so they can use the entire depth of the cabinet. There's no need for a chimney in the back of it for the heat to escape, like on the gas electric fridge. Uh, microwave, range hood vented outside, three burner stove, flush mounted bifold, uh, glass top. Cast iron grill, really like the quality of it. A little oven, animal finish. Actually, the burner is much lower on this one, so you could be putting a big chicken in there if you want, it will fit. Uh, the knob lights up as well, and so is the oven. Uh, there is a designer cutting board hatched with the logo of the company. It actually fits on the sink if you want, so you can take one of those two drying rack and put the cutting board right here. There we go, and uh, it's pretty nice talking about the sink. It is a Farber style stainless steel single bolt under mounted. It's actually pretty deep, really like that. There's a restaurant quality or restaurant style uh, tap. There's hard surface countertop right here, uh, as well as around the uh, oven and stove. There's lots of drawers in this kitchen island, so full drawer comes out, it's all plywood made, it's ball bearing hardware, pretty standard for quality of this, uh, of this range. There's a place for a garbage can right there, on the other side they actually build the shelf, so it's kind of nice, you can put the big pots and pans on here. There is a drawer underneath the oven though, for uh, maybe your frying pans, smaller pots. And then, to the side of this, we have this hutch. Uh, I like the depth of that counter. Perfect spot for the toaster and coffee machine. 
espresso machine, whatever you, you're into and you want to bring camping, your crock pots, it will all fit there. There's also a lot of storage below. They actually put a shelf there. Below this shelf on this side must be your heater furnace or water heater. And there's lots of storage above as well. Shelves in the corner, shelf in the corner. There's a couple of power outlets right here. There's some on the uh, uh, of the island as well. So right here in the kitchen alone, we have five power outlets. There's one hidden right here in this uh, cabinet end. It's a place to uh, charge your phone or your tablet. And there's a USB outlet as well. So we didn't really forget too much in this area. There's a skylight in the kitchen area with a blind, really like that. I'm a little stiff because it's new. Love those new drying rack. They're a nice feature. Rinse your cup, flip it upside down. It's ready for the morning coffee. Uh, and I think we've done the tour of the main room. It's quite impressive. Going towards the front, we'll have the bathroom on the left. Uh, this trailer is actually equipped with a solar panel. It's charging right now, believe it or not, even in the building. There's your uh, thermostat control for your AC and your furnace. Uh, bathroom, pretty decent. We have a very decent sized vanity, really like that, lots of counter. Stainless steel sink, very large medicine cabinet. Everything should fit in here, a little bit of storage below. Foot flush porcelain toilet. Another little cabinet here with a shelf in the middle. There is a light switch on the wall and a power fan switch on the wall. So you don't need to reach the 81 inch heights of this particular trailer. There's also a motion detector a night light on here. And there's also the Level Mate Pro. So if you're towing, this little device will sync to an app on your phone and it will help you level your trailer side to side, front to back. Shower is very decent, 36 by 30. And there is an incorporated shower curtain that works very well. There is a skylight on 5 foot 8. You could probably add another foot and you'll be, still be good to take a shower in this trailer. Uh, there's a power vent for the heat and also a cooling vent on the ceiling for the AC. Uh, Bluetooth enable uh, monitor panel, so everything is done through here. Lights, your awnings, uh, all you slide out, it's all controlled through here, your water heater and stuff. Front bedroom, well, that is a big factor into uh, why people choose the Sport Trek Touring Edition. Look at this room, it's absolutely incredible. King size bed to start. Uh, we talk about the storage on the outside. There's a part in it at the front here that is not going to get mixed up with your dirty stuff from outside. It's separated. It's also on gas struts. The bed base is also plywood. And so is our floor, folks. This is decked with 5-8 tongue and groove plywood. What sells this little room here is that little bench at the front. I think everybody really liked that. Nice place to come and sit, read a book, have a cup of coffee or a cup of tea. Uh, very decent uh, thickness cushion on that. Front window is beautiful. Shirt closet had been cut to give you a little bit of room behind. So you got a power outlet and a USB outlet. You get your shirt closet on each side with real bars. Real hanger will fit. A lot of storage above as well. And there's also blue LED lights in there uh, to give you a little mood lighting. Um, talking about the bed, really like the extra storage on the top. But more importantly, there is a power outlet and a USB outlet right there providing you 110 and 12 volts. If you want to bring an alarm clock or a CPAC machine, there's no issues whatsoever. Right in front of the bed, we have that second fireplace we talked about. It actually produces heat. If you're camped permanently, um, you know, uh, power, you can heat your trailer without having to use the propane. There's some big drawers. Same scenarios in the kitchen. The old drawer extend out. Ball bearing hardware. It's plywood made. A little bit of storage on each side. A place to put your shoes or your slippers and the top actually lifts up to give you some extra storage pretty nice pleated shades again on all the windows there's a spot for a tv on the wall there's a light switch for the main light as well as the light in the cabinet above at the front now this particular trailer comes with an extra cabinet or an extra storage facility it's got a big bar on the top, but it was designed to receive the two-in-one combo washer-dryer combo. 
So you get all the connection here for hot and cold water as well as the uh, as the dirty water out. But if you don't bring your washer dryer, like most people do, you got an extra hanging closet, which is pretty nice. There's also power in this uh, little cabinet here to be able to fire it up that uh, washer dryer. So folks, <laughs> it's a pretty complete uh, tour of the interior of the 343 VIK front bedroom. Uh, if you would have preferred the reverse, believe it or not, they actually make that with the rear bedroom. It's called the 333 VMI. We also have that in the yard. Folks, if you have any question at all, please give us a call. Better yet, stop by. We'll be happy to give you a full tour. And uh, we hope to see you in the yard. Folks, I think we've done it. Thanks for watching.